Hello, and today we're talking Drupal 10 theme suggestions. Now, what are they? They are not my suggestions. They are actually a thing within Drupal templating where it makes uh, finding the little HTML bits throughout your code base um, that get mashed into your site. I'm going to just turn this little texty thing off and show you what I'm talking about. Now, this is the my Drupal 10 site fluffiness theme that we generated in the last video. Um, if you inspect the source, you will see what you expect, which is a whole bunch of HTML. None of those comment comments that they're talking about. Back in PHP land, we look at our code base, which has web, uh, themes, fluffiness, templates. And then this directory contains a whole bunch of twig files which is an HTML preprocessor and makes it uh, easier to generate HTML rather than writing it all out. For instance, for each loops and such, um, this is a typical Drupal twig template. The looks like the fluffiness is well document, well documented. All right. So how does why do we care about any of this or what what is it pertain to suggestions have a look in the sites directory default and then you'll see the default.services.yml file so let's have a look and we'll scroll down till we see twig there it is twig config twig debugging when debugging is enabled the markup of each twig template is surrounded by html comments all right that's what i was trying to get at here when I showed you the HTML and inspect. All right, so we're going to take this file because it's um, part of the repo, the uh, Drupal code base. We're going to copy it so it doesn't get overwritten. We're just going to paste it back into the same directory, but we're just going to call it services.yml. And then we'll scroll back down to the twig.config and we're interested in the debug option. So we'll change that debug false to true. Uh, if we just look up here, you're going to want to read through this when debugging is enabled to understand exactly what it's doing. And there's a nice link. We're going to keep this short and just save. Uh, now we're going to go back to our terminal. Whenever you change something in Drupal, you're going to want to um, clear the cache. There we go. Go back to our Drupal 10 site and reload. Hopefully we see some comments. We don't see a thing. There they are. Okay. I'm going to just maximize the window. And here we go. Have a look. All these green comments are the twig debugging. And to explain what we're looking at, let's have a look at this um, theme hook page comment. So there are three file names in here with an X beside the bottom one. So the X indicates that this is the, the file that got picked up. The, the names above them are options where you can copy the page.html.twig file, rename it to one of these, and they will get picked up in the order that they appear. So page node HTML would um, pre be preferenced over page.html and page front of course would be preferenced over either of them let's have a quick look at page.html.twig and see if we can make some changes all right so i didn't catch the um full path but it says it right here begin output from themes fluffiness templates layout page okay so it's in layout Fluffiness templates layout. There is the page.html.twig. I'm going to minimize this terminal. Scroll down. And this is the skeleton of your entire page. Have a look at the main role. And we'll find the corresponding tag in our actual browser page. Uh, what am I looking for? Main. We'll use the search HTML up here. Main. And I don't see a thing. Hmm. 
where is our page and why is it lying to us? Page.html, that twink. There's a div and then there's a header. We've been had. Let's try something out. I like doing this. H1, ooh, bar. I would hate to have to cut right now because it took me a little while to get to this spot, huh? But it's pretty typical to run into an issue, especially when you're talking and typing. <coughs> okay, we refresh the cache. Maybe that was the problem. No, no, that doesn't make sense. But there's foobar. I apologize to the uh, the audience. I don't know where that main tag is. What if we just view page source and look for main? It's right there. So anyway, I hope you uh, learned something.